You have probably heard and or seen the game Angry Birds that people have enjoyed playing. There have also been two movies about it, along with a third that is set to be released in 2021. But how has it become so successful? Welcome to the BizPage channel. In this video we will be finding out how Angry Birds has become successful to where it is today. Now without further ado, let's dive in. Franchise of Angry Birds was created by Rovio Entertainment. The company was a computer game making organization that was based in Finland. The game was inspired and created from a sketch of stylized wingless birds. At the end of 2009 in December, the first release of the game was launched on the Apple iOS platform. The next year in October 2010, the game had already successfully sold 12 million copies on the Apple App Store. At this point in time, the game was then developed to be compatible with other smartphones. This included the use on the Android, Symbian and Windows systems. The game was also expanded to video game consoles and PCs. The main features of the game show antagonist pigs to the right while the angry birds are to the left. The pigs are sheltered within the structures or fortresses made of wood, concrete, steel or ice. The aim is that the birds have to be catapulted through the air to destroy the forts and take out the pigs in the process. If a player fails to destroy the forts or take out the pigs, then they have failed that level and they will need to start again. It is said that the simple design of the game was one main reasons for the game's immense popularity and being attractable. This is normally a standard method when developing a new game. It has to be understandable. In Angry Birds, the developers have made sure that the game is easy to understand and learn for a new player and factors such as age or intelligence are not an issue to enjoying the game. Because of the easy understanding of the game, it means that none of the challenges presented by the game are impossible and are able to be completed with some time and effort. This makes for a relaxing and low-stress game which can be played at any time for any period of time. This is a real benefit as no one wants to play a stressful game if they want to relax. Despite these positives, there are some setbacks to the game being so simple. The fact that the game is simple can also be a danger to the engagement level of the game. If a game is too simple in concept, then people may lose interest faster. Some people might be expecting to have some excitement now and again. However, because the game is based on trajectories, there is a slightly different result every time someone plays. Are you learning some informative insights about Angry Birds? If you are, then do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. In most cases, applications will attempt to provide users with a faster response time. This is an important factor for many products such as Google, email or instant messaging. In other types of applications, this may not be the case. The more prudent use of response time can add depth and quality to user engagement with an interface. In the case of Angry Birds, the response time is applied quite cleverly where the bird is released at a leisurely pace and its course is able to be traced. The pigs and their structures take some time to be taken down. The steadiness of the pace allows users to correct their errors, analyze what they did right or wrong and plan a strategy. This concept allows the game to be relaxing rather than stressful. Angry Birds throughout recent years has become a true phenomenon. Its impact can be seen extensively in all aspects of modern entertainment and culture. Here are some examples, the characters from the game have been mentioned in various TV shows around the world. These include The Daily Show, Tosh.0 as well as 30 Rock. Angry Birds have also been seen advertising in different ways. The characters have been featured in advertisements for different products. Examples are Microsoft's search engine Bing, one for Nokia's N8 phone, T-Mobile and Rovio who created promotional variants for other companies. In the year of 2012, Formula One driver Heike Kavalinen was sponsored by the company of Rovio. Kavalinen wore an Angry Birds helmet and in response to this, a promotional web-based version of the game was released in his honor. Angry Bird also has its own movie series. In the year of 2016, the Angry Birds movie was released, based on the video game series made by Rovio Entertainment. Three years later in 2019, a sequel to the first movie was made. There is now currently plans for a third movie that is set to be released in 2021. Let's take a look at some interesting statistics. 
The Angry Birds game has been downloaded around 2.5 billion times by 1.7 billion smartphone users worldwide. These users have thrown around 600 billion birds collectively and earned up to 150 billion stars across all Angry Birds games. To put this in comparison, the Milky Way only has 100 billion stars. By the end of 2011, 300 million minutes of the game were being played on a daily basis. It is stated that in the year of 2013, Rovio's growth stalled and revenues grew by only 2.5% year-on-year. The company reported that revenues of 156 million euros were made in 2013, compared to 2012's 152.2 million euros. This represented more than double the 75.6 million euros that Angry Birds made in the year of 2011. Around 47% of this revenue came from the consumer products division which includes toys, books and other licensed products. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have played the Angry Birds game or watched any of the movies. I would love to hear your opinions. If you found this video informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the biz page for more content.